We are Last Man Standing presenting The Coca-Cola Company by Lauren Portnoy, Alex Crin, Mike Bassetto, Shalva Forsman, and Hannah Jones. The recipe for Coca-Cola was invented in 1886 by Dr. John Pemberton of Atlanta, Georgia. The name for the soft drink was suggested by the pharmacist bookkeeper, Frank Robinson, who is also the gentleman who wrote it in the famous script that is still used today. In 1888, a businessman by the name of Asa Griggs Candler bought the formula from Pemberton and formed a corporation, thus becoming the company's first president. The company headquarters are located at 1 Coca-Cola Plaza in Atlanta, Georgia. Together with their bottling partners, Coca-Cola has about 700,000 system employees. Alone, the number of worldwide Coke employees is around 146,000. Coca-Cola operates in over 200 different countries and is consumed at a rate of more than 1.8 billion servings a day. It has more than 900 bottling plants around the globe in countries such as China, Italy, South Africa, India, and Pakistan. There are only two countries where the product cannot be sold bought or sold, and those are Cuba and North Korea. Coca-Cola has over 3,500 beverages in their product portfolio, and they own about 500 other brands like Odwalla and Dasani. The company owns 61 subsidiaries, mainly consisting of bottling plants and syrup manufacturers from several different areas of the world. In what industry is the company, and is the company still growing? Coca-Cola is a big-time leader in the beverage industry. They offer hundreds of brands, from soft drinks to fruit drinks to sport drinks and many more. The Coca-Cola industry is continuously growing. They have the ability to perceive changes in consumer taste, and they can change their product to meet those needs. How big is the industry? As stated before, Coca-Cola is a part of the beverage industry, which is under the American Beverage Association, ABA. The ABA is a trade association that represents America's non-alcoholic beverage industry and represents hundreds of beverage producers. The non-alcoholic industry plays an important role in the U.S. economy, having a direct impact by $118.9 billion and providing over 227,000 jobs. How much of the industry does the company own? Of the 33 non-alcoholic brands that are included in the beverage industry, Coca-Cola owns a whopping 15 of them making them the leading brand in the beverage industry. Globally, they are the number one provider of sparkling beverages, juices and juice drinks, and ready-to-drink teas and coffees. What are the major products and services sold by the company? Most of those names on the list are pretty mainstream and people know about them, but the bottom two, Georgia and Del Valle, were different for me, so I looked into them a little bit more. Del Valle is a leading juice company in the Latin American region. It was acquired in 2007 in Georgia is the name of a popular brand of coffee-flavored beverages. It was launched in 1975 by a Japanese subsidiary of Coca-Cola. It has since expanded to markets in Singapore, South Korea, India, and Bahrain. Georgia enjoys the most success in Japan, though. Who are the main competitors? Number one is PepsiCo. This is the number one rival in the soft drink industry. Pepsi is usually always second to Coca-Cola in sales. Number two, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. Owning many assorted brands such as Dr. Pepper, Snapple, 7-Up, Root Beer, and many more. And number three, Nestle Waters North America. Owning Arrowhead Waters and Calistoga Waters. Coca-Cola first joined the stock market in 1919 with just 600,000 shares. Between 1926 and 1960, there was a 4-for-1 split and also a 3-for-1 split, bringing the shares up to $15 million. In one short decade between 1960 and 1970, Coca-Cola took over Minute Maid Corporation, Duncan Coffee Company, and Aquaquem Incorporated. In the same decade, there were three 2-for-1 stock splits, increasing the shares to $140 million at $0.83 cents per share. In 1978 to 1982, Coca-Cola purchased Presto Products and Columbia Pictures Industries. In 1986, there was a three-for-one stock split, increasing shares to $700 million. At this time, shares were $7.44 each. From 1990 to now, the stock has made four two-for-one splits, 
bringing the current share count to 11 trillion 200 billion shares at $40.54. There are many different types of advertising strategies that Coca-Cola uses to promote their product. From icon to famous event sponsorships, Coke, do Coke does it all. The most two common icons, in my opinion, would be Santa Claus and the Polar Bear, which is shown on the bottom right-hand side. They also promote pro sports team events like the World Cup and the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is the most viewed event in the, in, in the U.S., which shows the success of this company. They are featured in big films and TV commercials as well. But TV wasn't the only technology affected. They also advertise through our computers. From online ads to your social media account, they really do let you know they exist. If you go outside, you may just see a Coke advertisement on a billboard, your local ferry, or even a bus. Coca-Cola is one of the leading beverage products in advertising, with a whopping $2.6 billion spent in advertising alone. This concludes our presentation on the Coca-Cola Company. Thank you for listening.